opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And d2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. Dx e4 opens up the center, captures the e4 pawn and allows the queen to attack the d4 pawn. Nx e4 recaptures a pawn and places the knight in the center. Nd7 develops the knight toward the center and prepares to play ng f6, when if white captures the knight on f6, then black can recapture with the knight on d7. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Ng f6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the knight on e4. Nx f6 plus captures the knight and places the black king in check. Nx f6 recaptures the knight and controls the e4 and d5 squares. Bd3 develops a bishop, controls the e4 square, and prepares to castle kingside. C5 attacks the d4 pawn and opens the diagonal for the black queen. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Takes back. It is the last book move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.